entry level cybersecurity certifications. If you see this video, this means that my microphone finally started working. It was a hassle last week to get my microphone working. I shoot several videos and on some of the microphone was not working and on others there was another problem. So I had a chain of technical problems last week which should be should have been resolved thankfully this week. In this video we're going to talk about five entry-level cybersecurity certifications that you need to know about if you want to continue your career in cybersecurity. Just to make things clear, some people think that entry-level cybersecurity certifications are the certifications for entry-level IT people. That is not true. If you continue your career in cybersecurity and if you embark on cybersecurity certification, it means that you should already have a foundation in IT. So realistically, you should, have, you, you should already know the curriculum that is presented in entry-level IT certification because none of entry-level cybersecurity certifications teaches you the basics of IT. It's based basically on cybersecurity as name suggests. So let's get closer to the topic. The first certification that I want to mention is Old Good Computer Certification Security Plus. Security Plus is information-based certification. Under information-based I mean that the majority of questions on the certification are multiple choice. Although this certification does include the performance-based questions but they're not necessarily closer, close to the real world, to basically to what we do in the real world. So although they pause this certification and advertise it as a certification that has a performance-based questions, it is rather an information-based certification rather than a performance-based, proper performance-based certification. Why Security Plus? Well, Security Plus provides you with a foundational theoretical knowledge about cybersecurity. It, it's not only based on web application attacks or well, DDoS attacks. It provides you a holistic approach to very different types of attacks. For example, attacks like piggybacking when you enter the building. Like you would think that this should not be a cyber attack after all because it's not happening with machines, with workstations, but it is a cyber attack too when someone is trying to break into your server room. That's why cybersecurity is very good to have a holistic approach to the cybersecurity field from the theoretical standpoint. And of course, like, don't get me wrong, it does test you on a lot of practical stuff, but still it is an informational, information based certification. The cost of certification is $370. It's neither cheap nor expensive compared to other cybersecurity certifications. And I would advise you to embark on it if you don't have any theoretical foundation in cybersecurity. The second certification that I would like to mention is Certified Ethical Hacker Certification. In short, it's CEH. It's offered by EC Council. When I saw EC, I thought like, is it a European Commission? Is it like something related to EU? Because we're so used to seeing EU, EC and etc. So I automatically thought that this is something related to EU, but it's not. EC has no relevance to EU, it's just the EC Council. Certified Ethical Hacker is a practical certification. It tests you on 20 domains and on 500 attack techniques, which, which I think is a lot, a lot for, for a good start in cybersecurity career. For example, 20 domains, 500 attacks, just imagine how it's gonna look like on your CV. And practically, imagine if you learn how to do that before you embark on the certification, just in terms of as a part of your preparation course, Imagine how much knowledge, how much practical knowledge you're gonna gain by embarking on this specific certification. And from here, you can continue your career in cybersecurity and you can also become a pen tester. You can become an ethical hacker. Like there are job descriptions, specific job descriptions that are looking for these specific people. Pen testers, ethical hackers, along with different cybersecurity professionals. The certification is not cheap, I'm telling you, because it is a practical performance-based certification, meaning that you will not be tested on what you know. They will assume that you know the theory. You will be tested on what you can do. That's why it's called performance-based. The cost of it, as I said, is, well, it varies between $950 to $12. It's $1,000, $199, but I, I'm just saying $1,200 just to round it up. There is a preparation course that comes with it. The preparation course costs $850. If I were you, of course, it depends on your budget, but I would go 
for the preparation course because this is a performance-based certification and certification itself is not cheap so when you buy a voucher for this certification you really want to pass it that's why I would advise if you are embarking to go for a preparation course as well the next certification that I would like to mention is again with old good CompTIA it is certified advanced security pr practitioner which is CASP plus you would ask why we're mentioning two different CompTIA certifications if both of them are basically information based well when it comes to this certification to start with it is a popular certification in the field I saw many different job announcements that mention specifically this certification it is it still includes the performance based questions and information based questions I haven't embarked on this certification myself but it is certainly closer to the practical side of the cyber security than security plus I would say the security plus is level one CompTIA cyber security certification and CASP plus is level two so it is a very good certification to consider especially if you're living in the US because I saw many different job announcements US based job announcements that do mention this certification it's a bit more expensive and it says you have to have 10 years of IT and five years of cybersecurity experience to embark on it when I looked through the certification objectives I could not see something that 10 years of IT and 5 years of cyber security experienced person needs to pass this certification. On the LinkedIn, every day I see many, many different posts from people who pass this certification and who do not have this experience. For this reason, don't worry if you see this many years of experience. I certainly mention this certification as an entry level cyber security certification because if you study and prepare it for it, you can easily pass it. Don't worry about it. You don't need so much experience. As I said, it's multiple choice and performance based and it costs $466 and it's more expensive than Security Plus but it's still an important certification to consider if you embark on career in cybersecurity. The fourth certification that I would like to mention is certification called OSCP. I mention it by capital names first because many people know it by capital names actually and it stands for Offensive Security Certified Professional. The certification costs $990 dollars they could have made it 1000 just one dollar difference but anyway 90 999 dollars to pass well the voucher for the certification it is offered by offensive security which prepares professional pen testers and professional ethical hackers offensive security rather advertises itself as solely pen tester based organizations that like it's, it pr prepares the professional pen testers for the company along with pen testers all other different cybersecurity professionals are encouraged to embark on this certification and they're encouraged to prepare for this certification because the preparation includes all the different domains of offensive security all the different domains of up-to-date cyber attacks and it prepares you on performance based basis so you learn how to how different up-to-date cyber attacks are initiated and you learn how to protect the company from it basically what would normal pen tester do but if you want to work as a cyber security professional within the cyber security sorry security operations soc security operations center and you actually need practical skills to show your employers that you can do this it is a it is a 24 hour exam and it's Kali Linux based all of their certifications are Kali Linux based so you're expected to have some Linux experience some Linux knowledge in order to be able to prepare for this certification for this reason it's not a good certification for those who have no experience in IT no experience with Linux because you are expected to have a basic understanding of Linux before you embark to the, on this certification they do offer different preparation courses and you better embark on them if you doubt something because as I said certification costs $999 and it would be very sad to see you fail that certification if you are not prepared in a proper way the fifth certification that I would like to mention is certified in cybersecurity this is certification that is offered by ISC many people are will be asking me I'm sure under this video in the comment section down below why I haven't mentioned certified information systems cybersecurity professional certification well the main reason I have not mentioned this certification is that this one is for leaders like not leaders sorry but for managerial 
roles in security, not only cybersecurity, but security overall. If you want to embark on a certification that is specifically entry-level cybersecurity certification, the CISSP is not quite for you just yet, because you have to prove that you have five years security-related experience, and it would be very hard if you don't have this experience, obviously. So this certification would be something that you should embark on a bit later in the future. Certified in cybersecurity certification is offered by the same company, and moreover, it is free at the moment. So they launched an initiative called One Million Free ISC2 Certified in Cybersecurity Courses, meaning that they want to fill a gap there is for the cybersecurity professionals, and they're making this specific entry level cybersecurity certification and preparation for it free. That's at least what they advertise on their website. That's why, if you want to embark on an entry level cybersecurity certification that is also free, I would advise you to take a look at certain certified in cybersecurity or shortly CC certification offered by ISC. Thank you very much for being with me today and please do mention in the comment section down below should I have had included the CISSP certification in my video or not and would, what other certification do you think would be good to include among other entry-level cybersecurity certifications. Also if some of you already have CASP plus certification please let me know if it's a certification that is worth taking and if you felt like you need 10 years of IT and 5 years of cybersecurity experience for that. Thank you for being with me today and have a nice day. Bye!